All right, the dreaded rebalance. It needn't be so hard. What I'm going to show you is rebalancing three reels. I've got three guide tracks. Um, they've been rearranged into new reels three, four, and five. Okay, so conformalizer. I'm going to import three cut lists. Um, and I must set their hour codes. This is something you don't need to do if you're using EDLs. Five is hour five. Reel four is hour four. New cut, three, four, and five, three, five, and four. They do come in in a strange order. Thank you, Apple. I'm not sure why that is. And comparing them. Right. So we have 40 events which constitute our rebalance. We can see right away that something from the start of reel four is now tacked onto the end of reel 3. Uh, we can just move through the events and get a really good idea of what's moved where. Yep, yep, yep. Bunch of stuff from reel 5 ended up on reel 4 we can see. And there we go, that's the end of reel 5. Great. Okay, so we're going to apply this list to the session and just like the usual conform method, we need to create ourselves some empty space into which to conform. Um, and of course, we're conforming three reels at once, so we need three hours of empty space. So let's have a look in Pro Tools. Um, we've got three, four, and five, starting at hour three, of course. I'm going to give myself three hours by resetting the start time to zero. Maintain time code. Okay, great. Um, putting my cursor in the tracks I want to conform. And in Conformalizer, I need to mimic the same setup, I need to nudge the master hour, the paste times, back to hour zero. So the same setup there, hour three, four and five, reassembling back at zero, one and two. Okay, let's give it a go. And off it goes. Okay, so this is going to take a while. I'll explain a couple more things to you while it's doing this. Um, Firstly, resetting the session start time uh, is only one technique of, of arriving at this position. You, If it's easier for you, you could grab all your audio and nudge it up the reel a number of hours. Uh, you could spot it all by a number of hours. You may prefer to conform from earlier in the session to later and then delete all the original material. Um, the other thing you should know is when conforming sessions this large, you'll normally have many, many tracks and several reels of material. Uh, so the session will be really slow, uh, the region list can be huge, you may have masses of VCA automation which could be bogging Pro Tools down. So it's really important to slow down the conform process. In the conformalizer setup menu there's an option for uh, slowing down the conform routine. Um, for very large sessions with masses of VCA automation, take the slowest option, painfully slow. Most of the time, slow or very slow will, will deal with the largest sessions on a reasonably spec machine. Okay, so we can see already how the rebalance is working. I've color coded the regions to make it obvious. And just a second, we should be able to see exactly what's moved. 39 and event 40 is the last one, I believe. Great. Let's zoom in here and have a look. Okay, so it looks like the red one was reel 4, so it looks like reel 4 has kind of been shunted to the left, tacked onto reel 3. Reel 5 has been split in 2, and it's also had a considerable rehack. I suspect it was full of VFX. Okay, so look, firstly we must reset the session start time. Back to hour 3. Thank you. So now the first reel is hour 3, which is what we want. Uh, I'm now going to get into checking against the new guides. Make sure that everything's the right size. Let's spot that reel 3 into place. It's looking just about the right length. And the audio looks to be about the same as well. Excellent. Reel 4. Same deal, looking pretty good. The rebalance stuff's all in sync. And reel 5, version 11. 
There's my new Reel 5. Fantastic. Phase accurate. Great, so that's that's your rebalance. Of course, there's always the massive cleanup of, of making that work, but that's your job. All right.